What's going on, lads? It's your boy We Talk Football again. In the electrifying showdown between Manchester City and Tottenham, a controversial decision by referee Simon Hooper has set the Premier League alight. Erling Haaland unleashed a storm of criticism on social media after being denied the chance to exploit a late-game advantage. The pivotal moment occurred when Haaland, seemingly fouled, miraculously regained his footing to set up a potential game-changing play for Jack Grealish. Hooper, initially signalling play on, abruptly pulled it back for a City free kick, sparking vehement protests from the aggrieved players. The decision prompted scathing remarks from pundits, with many calling it an absolute shocker and a huge mistake. Former City defender Micah Richards advocated for letting play continue and rectifying any doubts later, emphasising City's justified grievances. Haaland then ignited a heated confrontation with Tottenham's Giovanni Lo Celso, escalating tensions in the aftermath of a controversial decision. The fiery exchange occurred after the final whistle. As Haaland exited the pitch, he abruptly turned around, visibly furious in response to something said to him. The specific words remain unclear, but the intensity of Haaland's anger was unmistakable. The cameras captured a skirmish in which Haaland had to be separated from the scene, adding a post-match spectacle to the already charged atmosphere. As the controversy unfolded, Haaland, not one to hold back, took to social media platform Twitter to repost the contentious incident with a succinct WTF, adding an extra layer of drama and tension to the aftermath. Manager Pep Guardiola, usually measured in his responses, struggled to conceal his initial frustration, but later tempered his comments, acknowledging that people make mistakes. The manager, known for his occasional outbursts, refrained from provoking a football association charge, but did express surprise at the referee's indecisiveness. However, beyond the boundaries of the pitch, several defended Hooper against the abuse he received on social media, highlighting the trend of targeting officials for on-field decisions. The vitriol, insults and threats directed at Hooper served as a grim reminder of the dark side of social media's faceless anonymity. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.